Menez. I'm, I, I see you at the board. I'm so far away. You are so far away, Saz, but let's take a look at the markets right now. And what we're looking at are parts of the markets that are flashing sort of these recession fears. So we are taking a look at the bond market right now. We're looking at the five-year Treasury that's down eight basis points. You've got the 10-year note yield that's down eight basis points at 2.81%. Also, looking at the U.S. dollar index of, of 106 right now, above 106. Uh, this is a 20-year high. We're also taking at the euro against the dollar, and that is at a 20-year low right now. We are also seeing WTI Brent crude that's also lower as you've got the stronger dollar and concerns about demand going forward if there is a recession. So we're watching WTI down almost 5%. Taking a look under the hood at equities, we are seeing that all 11 sectors of the S&P 500 are all in the red. You've got materials and energy which are leading to the downside over on the Dow, I just uh, mentioned uh, also industrials is also one of the ones that are also leading to the downside. Boeing down 6%. And we are looking at the NASDAQ 100. And you're seeing the mega caps, quite a bit of red here on the screen. And you've got Tesla that's down 4%. I do want to mention the energy stocks because that's been also one of the big laggards. Occidental Petroleum, we've been watching this one down more than 3%. Berkshire Hathaway buying more shares of Oxy, increasing Berkshire Hathaway stake of Oxy at to 17.4%. And even though today is a down day, we are still looking at year to date. Oxy's up 100% year to date, Brad. Really great breakdown as always there. Inez, appreciate it here.